Hey yogis, welcome back. Today, welcome to my living room, my sofa, and well, my kitchen behind that. Today we're gonna to be stretching from the sofa, so you don't need anything other than, of course, a nice comfortable seated position on your sofa and yourself. I'm also gonna be putting subtitles on the screen today and basically summarizing what I'm saying. So if you wanna put your favorite TV program whilst also doing your yoga stretches, then you're welcome to do so. But when you're ready, let's get started. Today we're going to be beginning with a soft gaze, taking one breath in and out and then some visual eye drills. So when you're ready, inhale through the nose, hold at the top, big sigh out through the mouth. <sighs> Extending the arms in front, give me a thumbs up. Now you're going to keep the eyes on the tip of the thumb as we bring left thumb out to left side, keeping the head in the middle, bringing left thumb back, right arm out back in the middle. So when you just to keep alternating, but eyes stay on the thumb that's moving, and maybe this is only a short distance to begin with as the thumbs move side to side. Maybe it's slow, but as you feel more confident here, maybe you can take the thumbs a little bit wider, a little bit faster, just seeing how you get on. Keeping the breath slow in and out through the nose. Relaxing the facial muscles, relaxing the belly, See if you can do twice more on each side. So we're trying to keep the head as still as possible, trying just to use the eyes all the way to the edge of our visual field. Once you're done, have a little shake out, a little release. Okay, let's start by adding a bit more movement today. So beginning with our cat and cow, we're gonna inhale, pull the chest through, maybe chin reaches up to ceiling. Exhale, we're rounding, bringing chin to chest, maybe eyes to belly button. Inhale to open, follow your breath. Exhale to close. And maybe this feels like enough for you today, or perhaps you want to add on. If you're willing to add on, then on the next one, we're gonna inhale, cactus the arms, open the chest. And these cactus can be low or high. Exhale, we're gonna push the hands away, rounding as much as we can. Again, inhaling. Exhaling. Inhaling. Exhaling, let's see if we can do one more round of these. And release, relax the hands down. We're gonna cross the legs now. So come to the edge of your sofa, bringing left leg on top, right leg underneath. So simple cross legged. We're then gonna reach the arms up to the ceiling, take a breath in. Exhale, we're gonna twist to the left. So I like to bring my right hand anywhere on the legs and then left hand behind. So depending on your sofa, maybe you're grabbing the back of the sofa, the arm, or maybe the back of the seat. But we need to think about inhale, bringing the chest through. Exhale, eyes to the left as we twist a little bit more. Take two more breaths here. Perfect. And on your next inhale, we're going to come back to face center. We're going to reach the arms forward and we're going to cross left arm on top, right arm underneath, either bringing forearms together you could reach for shoulder blades or wrap the hands around for eagle arms. Inhale, we lift the elbows up. Exhale, we drop the elbows down to reach the knees. Twice more. Inhale up. Exhale down. One more time. Keeping the elbows now at shoulder height. See if you can reach the elbows away from the shoulders, hands away from the face. As we take one more breath here. And we unravel to release. Let's go for the other side. So uncross the legs, recross. Now we've got the right leg on top. We inhale the arms to the ceiling. We exhale, twist to the right side. So left arm, left hand grabs anywhere on the legs as the right hand comes behind. Again, we take three slow breaths here. This time eyes look to the right to help us twist that tiny bit more. And maybe it's harder to breathe in this twist. And just noticing and acknowledging that feeling. Last breath here. 
and then slowly unraveling, coming back to center as we reach the arms forwards. This time right arm on top, forearms together. Could reach for shoulder blades or wrap the hands for eagle arms. We take a breath in. Exhale, we crunch down, bringing elbows to knees. Okay, let's go again. Up and down. One more time. Up and down. Inhale, up. Exhale to stay, bringing elbows away from the face, hands away from the face. We take one breath here. And release the arms, release the legs, have a little shake, a little roll out. We're going to take the legs a little bit wider now and we're going to take a little fold. <laughs> so if you're watching the TV, just notice you might turn this more into a twist and a fold. But whatever you do, just make sure it feels good in your body. So we're going to take an inhale and then exhale. We're imagining folding with the chest. So rather than rounding the shoulders, we're imagining leading with the chest as if there's a piece of string tied to the middle of the chest and it's pulling us towards the left knee. If you went for a right knee, it doesn't matter which side you go for first. And then you have the option to straighten the leg to maybe fold that a little bit deeper, or maybe you're going to have a nice bend in the knee today. Once you feel comfortable, begin to relax the head down as we just take a couple of breaths here. Maybe hands are on the ground, maybe knuckles are down, maybe hands are resting on the legs. And then when you're ready, take an in-breath. Exhale, we're going to bring chin to chest and we're going to roll all the way back up to our seated position. Other side. So remember, we're going to lead with the chest. We take an inhale. Exhale, we fold over the right leg. You can have the knee straight or bent, hands down to the ground on the leg or the sofa. Relaxing the head. Unclenching the jaw. And we just simply take one more breath here. And then we're rolling all the way back up, bringing chin to chest. And the head is going to come up last. Nice. Okay. We're going to interlace the fingers behind the back if that's too much today. Maybe you want to go for opposite forearms or maybe you're walking hands towards elbows. I'm going for the interlace. If you naturally go for the interlace with one pinky finger on top, today I dare you to switch a Rooney and bring the other pinky finger on top. We're going to roll the shoulders back and down, take the palms away from the back. Close the eyes if you can. I'm going to take one breath here, in and out. Blink the eyelids open if they're closed, take one shoulder roll and release the hands down. Okay, let's go for a nice juicy hip stretch. So figure four, you might start with the leg straight. So let's go for right leg straight. Again, come to the edge of your sofa, but for me to fit on the frame, I'm just gonna scooch back a little bit. So right leg is straight, left leg, you're gonna place anywhere on the right leg. So you've got left ankle, could be on the shin and maybe that's enough for your hip today. Or maybe you're even gonna use your hands and bring the ankle to the thigh. That might be enough there the left knee is coming down. So rather than it coming up towards you, we can imagine it pressing away from us. If you want, you can then walk that right foot in to have the right knee bent. And then instead of rounding down here, we inhale and we lift that chest up. Because you've got that lovely left foot next to you, maybe you're gonna give it a little bit of a massage as we just hold for three breaths. Still imagining that left knee coming down, a shoulder stay away from the ears, and we find length in the spine here. When you're ready, if you've got that right knee bent, you re-straighten the leg and you release the left knee down. So let's go for other side. So again, we have the left leg straight to begin with, right ankle anywhere on the left leg, and maybe that's enough for today, or maybe you're using your hands or you're just using your own strength to pull it in, and then we're bending into that left knee. So for me today, my right hip is feeling a lot tighter than my left, and that's okay. Just like before, we're acknowledging that, we're accepting it, and we're not using judgment, so we're just saying, okay, feels a bit tighter, maybe we're gonna show it a little bit more love. As we pull that chest through, keep the shoulders down, the right knee is going down, and maybe we're giving the right foot a sweet little massage as we close the eyes or we can keep them open. We're just here for a couple more breaths. It 
the eyes are closed, we're blinking them back open. And then when you're ready, we're re-straightening left leg and releasing the right foot. We're gonna bring hands to prayer, center of the chest, and we're gonna take our physiological side, double inhale, exhale through the mouth. So when you're ready, breathing in. And out. So if you would like, we're gonna do that one more time. Breathing in. And out. As always, thank you so much for joining me, especially in my living room today. And just remember, you don't need a lot of time to do these little things for ourselves that can make such a huge difference to our day. So as always, thank you for joining me and I can't wait to see you on your mat or maybe your sofa again soon. Take care.